Toronto police are issuing a warning tonight after an investigation into two incidents at an all-boys private Catholic school were recorded and shared on social media. One of them could be considered a sexual assault, and police are saying the video meets the threshold for child pornography. A warning now to our viewers that the descriptions we're about to share with you are graphic. This isn't what St. Mike's is known for. This isn't what we stand for. We, we, we stand for turning boys into men and not boys into these monsters. Strong words from one St. Michael's College student today who asked us to protect his identity, reacting to a series of events that allegedly played out inside the school washrooms. Outside the school arena, the words teach me goodness, discipline and knowledge. But today, that motto feels forgotten. Really devastating the entire school and uh, I don't know, I'm very emotional about it and we all are, so what they that's all I want to say. Today? Students at the all-boys school, which spans grades 7 to 12, obviously shaken by two videos circulating online. City News has seen both. In one, a young boy is lying naked from the waist down. What happens next could be characterized as a sexual assault. A tip of a broom was inserted into a spot on, a, on one of our students by another student within the washroom. It's that video that has Toronto Police issuing a clear message tonight. Being in possession of the video or sharing the video uh, can constitute a, a child pornography related offense. Wow. Uh, so we're asking anyone who has it to delete it immediately. In a second video seen by City News, a different boy wearing only a shirt and underwear is seen sitting in a large sink. The water is running and the bare skin on his leg is being slapped. In a statement to City News, St. Michael's College says it has responded to both incidents. Writing, this week, to our shock and dismay, we learned of two incidents that were in clear violation of our student code of conduct. The school administration promptly conducted an internal investigation, including meeting individually with the students involved and their parents. As a result, swift and decisive disciplinary action has taken place, including expulsion. The school, widely known for its exceptional athletic program, sent a letter home to parents and say they addressed the student body in a formal assembly. But there still remains a question of when and how police became involved. In a follow-up email to City News, a school spokesperson claims police were contacted by the private school. But police tell us they only learned about the videos after receiving calls from media today. We uh, began to learn of the news from the media uh, today. Uh, we checked our calls uh, for service. Uh, we did not have any calls for service uh, to that location, uh, and the division had not been made, made aware uh, either. We, as I said, then started the process through the division and then through CYAC to start the investigation. Toronto's Police, Child and Youth Advocacy Centre is now heading the investigation. Definitely something that should not be in a school community. Um, it's just absolutely disgusting. Now, some students tell us that the incidents happened sometime last week. It's unclear how many students were expelled. Police are currently calling this an assault, but they say they're not ruling out sex assault or child porn charges.